Hey guys, so we've got a bit of time today, so I thought we'd have a look at the uh, T962A infrared heater. Uh, we've already done a quick uh, look at it a video, and also the upgrade kit that I'm um, hoping to be able to have time to fit uh, pretty soon. Um, you'll remember from the last video that uh, when I was messing around with this, I suddenly noticed some hot melt glue running down the glass at the front. It's, it's actually just on the inside of the glass and I thought uh, we should probably have a look at this and see exactly why on earth they've used hot melt glue anywhere near anything that gets as hot as, uh, as this does. Now to remove this there are two plastic clips uh, you just press down here and then jiggle it out. You've got one on the other side but uh, strangely it's exactly the same part as on the other side uh, they haven't fitted two different parts, so this one, because it's round the other way, you've actually got to press up. So, uh, yeah, one's up and one's down, and then just jiggle it out. There seems to be three screws on the top here, and uh, yeah, three on this side. It's not very well, well, you know, it's just been spot welded quite poorly all the way around, but. It does the job, so I'm just going to take these screws out and uh, see if we can actually have a little look as to uh, what the hot melt glue is doing. Very small screws, not much thread going into these little metal uh, pillars. Quite a lot of grease uh, all over this as well. It's probably accounted for that uh, smoke that was produced on the uh, the first time it was used. Right, that's all loose on the front now. I'm just going to ease that off, hopefully. See how crudely this is uh, made. There is just some, I assume, heat resistant insulation that's been pushed in there. It doesn't even really fit properly, but uh, strangely, I'm just going to take my glasses off for a closer look at this. Looks like the glass is actually bonded with, uh, I don't know, actually. Well, it's, it's really weird. I don't know whether you can see this or not, but there's, there's the outer glass, and then there's this. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it looked like there was an outer piece of glass and then an inner piece that was on this metal frame but actually that metal frame is just sitting there loose and it's just the seal around here I think when this is bolted up obviously that metal pushes that down so yeah the glass is bonded in mostly with some sort of heat resistant silicon it's pretty solid so it's none of the silicons I use and then for some strange reason there is a big dollop of hot melt glue on this screw pillar which the um, insulation is stuck to and then there's another big dollop of it down in here and that's melted and come up over the um, over the glass now obviously that's holding that metal in place now but I think I think we're just going to take that off. Just see what's going on there. Yeah, I wonder if that uh, that glue's been misplaced, and it should be on this pillar just to hold this insulation in. But then I've done it in each each corner. I don't know whether you can see this or not. But there's hot melt glue in this corner here, 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 
up here again. I just don't understand why you would use you know, obviously a heat resistant silicon all around here. They then missed it here, I don't know if you can see that, there's a gap there and nothing above it and then there's a gap in this bottom piece and uh, that's where this glue is coming from that's just weird, I don't understand that at all it surely would have been easy enough to run a bead of the high temp silicon all around this and then position the glass Obviously that's, I don't know whether you can see this, if I put this out on the, and now it's all warped from either being badly made or the temperature that this has achieved. Yeah, and I think it's probably the, it's badly made. There's a little weld just in this corner, and I suspect that's just been poorly made. I'm not sure. Anyway, I've straightened that out a bit now, but it's still, uh, still a bit too big on that aperture. Ugh, it's just horrible. Grease all over it. Crappy spot welds. This has been punched out, obviously, and is uh, yeah all left with razor sharp, jagged pieces on it, especially under there where they've not bothered just to deburr that. So I think what we'll do is uh, we'll see if we can cut some of this off. I don't particularly want that running down the glass. Uh, and if this wasn't, I say I'm just going to get a screwdriver and see how hard that is. I can't quite work it out with my finger now. Could well be the best thing to do is going to be to remove this. Yeah, actually, it is a soft silicon. So why the hell would you not go around it fully? There's silicon missing from the corners. Certainly in the middle pieces, there's a visible gap. Yeah, just don't really understand that at all. Certainly a lack of attention to detail. <laughs> I think if I can get this out without breaking it, it's pretty thick piece of glass. Not sure we can get that out, um, but yeah, very poor build there. Anyway, so uh, I think I'll probably just put these videos up uh, step by step and uh, we'll see what we can do with this first and, uh, and then go into uh, stripping the unit down I think rather than waste any more time uh, testing. I'm pretty keen to get the upgrade kit fitted but uh, yeah if you're thinking of getting one of these you can see that you might have a little bit of uh, work to uh, do to improve it if you can be bothered catch you later